today. Um, I hope it goes well, but I've kind of got my iPad stuck on something to get the right angle. I've got dogs making noise in the background, and my hair's a mess. But um, I thought I'd do the video, as I said I would today, on tips and tricks whilst I've been using Exante. Um, different tips and tricks I use with the recipes I do, the pack hacks, um, how to do some of the packs that I have. Um, hopefully something will be helpful. So, um, yeah, first off, you know that I do, or I have done all through my journey, um, the Exanta 800. So you have three meal packs, uh, and they're roughly 200 calories each, and you're allowed a 200 calorie low carb meal in the evening. Um, it's no um, surprise that I do pack hack um, quite a lot of my packs. I learned it an early, early on in my diet um, that um, I love all the stuff and I do, but I'm a notorious fiddler in the kitchen, I'm afraid. Um, I've had years of working in restaurants and that, and I like to bake, I like to cook, I like to keep things interesting. Um, and obviously I had never done it with um, lower fat options. I'd always gone for the high fat, high carb, high, high everything, thinking it was always the best flavour. Um, and then I did Exante and I got into it and I really wanted to try and adapt some of the recipes that I do along for alongside um, a low calorie, uh, low carb diet. So that's what I did. So there's lots of things you can do um, with the uh, packs of Exante to start off with. I mean, you can have them just normal. I mean, I like pretty much all the packs. I'm, um, to me, um, I started off this diet thinking it's food, it's, it's a necessity, it's going to get me to where I need to go. Um, so I was quite open-minded when I came into it um, of how things would taste, how it is. As I was told before, it's essentially space, space food, I suppose you'd call it. Um, any of these plans you have, whether it's Exante or, or the various other ones out there, it's food that you rehydrate and have that's got all the nutritional values that you want in them. Um, so I was very mindful that um, I might not like them, um, but I had to stick to it. But luckily I did like them, so um, I do think the variation is amazing and it, it's, there's, there's so many things there that can keep you interested in it, um, and it has. But I did pack hack, um, so I don't know where to start really. Um, I suppose with the sweet pack hacks, because uh, that's the things that people normally start playing around with. Um, excuse me, my drink's in the way. Um, when, you, when you do the sweet pack hacks, I mean, I've just got a few of them out here because... There's just so many and I have got so many in. Um, I suppose the most common basic one is the chocolate shake mix. Um, chocolate shake mix is beautiful, um, but I do make mine into cakes, um, mousses, uh, various things like that. Um, with a cake, it, it's just simple as adding baking powder and an egg and some water so you get a cake consistency. Um, pop it in your oven in a, in a silicone muffin tray. Um, I mean, I've even put a few of these together before, and if you see on my highlights in my um, on my Instagram, you'll see that I've made a big cake, celebration cake with it before. So you can adapt and do things with all these products. Um, but a simple one, obviously, is the muffin. Uh, you get about three or four muffins out of it. Nice check texture change, which I think is the key. If you have a different texture change with a lot of these things, um, you can do the same with the apple crumble mix, exactly the same. A lot of these recipes and, and hacks that I do is, is roughly the same because essentially all you're getting in these packets is the same consistency, the same stuff in it, it's just different flavours than that. So you can kind of play around and experiment with them, um, which a lot of people do and I definitely do. Um, you get the pancakes, so you get the pancakes already in. You can also, sorry, you can make pancakes out of the shake uh, mixes, I forgot about that. One of the basic ones again. Again, you can add an egg, add, add water, add your, bi uh, your bicarb, and hey presto, you cook it like a pancake. It tastes like a pancake, it is a pancake. Um, nice and chocolatey too. But obviously you don't have to just use chocolate shake mix. Any of the shake mixes can be turned into cakes, pancakes, um, mousses, whatever floats your boat really, whatever takes your fancy on the day. Um, but I suppose the chocolate shake is the most uh, one for cakes and that and, and the pancakes. But again, you can make them into pancakes. You get the pancake mix in Exante, and again, you can cook them like pancakes. Um, I cook them um, in my little waffle tray sometimes. I cook them like that, I cook them like pancakes, um, I cook them like cakes. 
again, you, you, you can do various things with these cake pops. I've done that with them. Basically, you do, if you look in my highlights, you'll see all the recipes. You can add an egg, bicarb, um, sorry, baking powder, uh, and your water, um, and then hay presto, away you go. Obviously, the porridge, porridge oats. Now, porridge oats, again, very versatile. You can have them just like this. You can make them into overnight oats, which is what I do. You can make them into cookies, which is what I've done. You can make them into cakes. Um, I mean, today, just to show you, I don't know if you can see them, I had a bit of an experiment today, as it's a Sunday, and I made some big fat cookies. They're kind of protein uh, meal replacements, really, because I used two of these packs. Um, again, it'll be on my highlights. And I actually experimented with these ones, and I popped in, um, I'll get to it later, I use a lot of the skinny syrups, um, jam and and, and uh, peanut butter and, and chocolate spreads just a little bit just enough to give it a slight variation again it adds calories so you have to be mindful of what you're doing and what you're adding and fat your calories into your diet but as long as you're within your 800 for the whole day um, if you're good to go it works it has done for me um, again you, you have to kind of see what works for you but you're good to go and it works so that's all good um, your savoury ones, I'm probably going to miss a lot here, um, so I'll probably have to do another one because there's so many packs to hack and that like, I have, and there's so many recipes. But again, look in my highlights at the top of my page and you'll see they're all on there. Um, but again, the savoury ones, you can do the same, you can hack them. They're all very nice when you make them, um, but you can hack them. I mean, uh, shepherd's pie, um, lovely as it is, you can add veg, again, out of your calories and that. Um, make a bigger shepherd's pie. You can mix water with them and you can, uh, an egg if you wish, and you can make a burger. Really nice, that one. Um, again, so many, you can make kebabs out of them. They're all on the sections and the highlights, but there's so many things you can do, do to them that only add very slight calories. So again, as long as you're mindful for what you're having in the day, it can all work. If you're wanting that different texture, it can work. Um, sweet and sour noodles. Now, one of my favorite things, always has been, always will be. Um, and I started pack hacking them because I had so many in. Um, I had to start thinking of something different to do with them. I mean, I still eat them like this all the time. But I do like doing like a frittata with these, so I make it into a 400 calorie meal. If I, um, you'll probably know that a lot of the time I have a, a pack at lunchtime, a pack mid afternoon, and sometimes I've got 400 calories left to have in the evening. So I'll pack hack. I'll have a pack, and I'll mix it with something. My my bigger pack packs, my 400 calorie ones. Um, this one, I love doing it in a frittata, so it's kind of like a, a pasta frittata. So you mix your omelette mix in with it, um, mix your noodles, and you win up to 400 calories. Really, really lovely meal. Um, very nice. Um, again, Indian style curry, beautiful as it is. Um, I have it with cauliflower rice sometimes to make a bigger meal. Um, again, add, add water with it. Um, I've done onion barges with these um, by adding onion and your water. Um, pakoras can be done with them, you can add chicken. There's so many things you can do with them, um, it is quite amazing. So uh, um, again, it's just seeing what, what textures you like and what variations you like, but again, really, really nice. I mean, you can make a um, banquet out of some of these things if you want to you know, hack it up and you've got some calories to use, go for it, that's what I say. Um, and yeah, really, really tasty. Um, just like you can hack the uh, shakes, uh, and, 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 and the soups, you can, sorry, you can hack the soups as well. With the shakes and the soup, I will show you, there's, a, there's an unflavoured shake, now I love this one, this is fabulous, because um, I've made this into a bread roll um, the other week, Sunday morning, I wanted a bacon, lettuce and tomato roll, and I had one. I used this, uh, made it into a roll, um, really nice texture, and um, I add exanthum gum, is that how you say it, to a few of my recipes, because it gives a crumb-like texture without all the calories, um, and if you're cooking without uh, gluten a lot of the time, it can help. Um, so I do use that exanthum gum. Again, it's in my little thing in the highlights. You'll see all about my essentials that I buy and what I like making and the recipes in there too. And I had a really, really tasty uh, bacon lettuce and tomato, a crusty cob roll. It was really nice. You have to be mindful that obviously it's not going to taste like a fresh tiger loaf or anything like that. You're going to taste the slight sweetness in it because obviously... It is a shake, unflavoured, but it is a shake. So you do have that in them, like you do all your packs. But if you're used to your packs, you're used to the flavour. Um, I think it's a really nice change to have that one. But again, you can make the bread rolls, or you can make pitters, or you can make flatbreads out of your soups. 
um, mushroom soup. That makes a really nice bread roll, actually. Um, mushroom and egg and bacon. Mmm, tasty. It makes a really, really nice one. And your soups, your red Thai curry, your butternut squash, make your flatbreads, um, it can make your pita bread. So you can have your 400 calorie meal with a pack and add 200 calories worth of chicken, lettuce, tomato, everything in it. And it can really fill you up for the evening and it can give you that extra texture. It's, it's really, really nice. So that's obviously a nice tip. Um, obviously the bars, you can hack the bars as well. I love the bars as they are, I love all the bars. Um, but again, a lot of these bars you can whiz up in the blender and you can make them into like a cheesecake base mix from my favourite things. So you use one of these uh, and let's just find it and then you use one of these shapes, just say use your chocolate shape. So you whiz this up um, in your blender to find bread breadcrumbs, put it in two little pots so you end up with two portions effectively out of this or if you've got 400 calories to use and you're hungry then you can have it all. Um, and then you make your mousse out of um, gelatine or veggie gel uh, in with the uh, shake mix, again, in my highlights. And you mix it all together, divide it between two pots. You've got two 200 calorie uh, meals, effectively. Um, good to go. Um, obviously, you don't want to be leaving these things to eat too far in advance because um, there is some argument about vitamins and minerals and all these things. But you're having, as long as you're only pack hacking occasionally, um, I mean, I've done it all throughout, it hasn't done me any harm. Obviously, check what you want to do, see what you want to prefer. But it's a way that I have found to get through it and be on it so long without losing interest so much. Um, again, great products, but it does, it, it helps you if you can if you can change it up a bit um, so you're not losing too much interest and it keeps you exciting. I think it's brilliant if you can keep you on track, it's brilliant. So yes, you can do all that. And with all obviously the strawberry bars and everything, they're lovely um, as they are, my one of my favorites as they are. But again, you can make it into a rice crispy treat base for your strawberry mousse or cheesecake or ice cream cake. So many things you can do. Um, and that's really, really nice. You've also got obviously the burst drinks. Now I've only recently got into these um, and I love them. I was very late to the game with these because I do take, as you know, my normal vitamins anyway. I take collagen, vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, biotin. Um, I have done all the way through because I've always thought that my skin might need that extra bit of help. But whether it's worked or not, I don't know, but I've always taken it. But these I've been introduced to recently and I love them. They're really nice. Um, really nice to drink. A few calories in, but nothing negligible really. Um, ice lollies, just like the shakes, you can make ice lollies, ice creams, forgot about that. You can make your ice creams with your shakes as well. Again, amazing. You can make them with this, you can make little cocktails. Okay, not too much of the alcohol, unless you're being really cheaty, which I have done, but hey ho. Um, really nice, and it can give you all the vitamins, minerals, extra collagen and everything as well, which for me, it all helps. Um, so that's nice. We've also got, with all the different packets you've got, I but quite often buy, I love the pizza mixes and the fajita mixes from Exante. Again, you can have them as they are, 200 calorie meal, really nice. If you want to pimp your pack up like I do, I have my chicken and my spinach, an extra 200 calories, it's a 400 meal, calorie meal, fills you right up for the evening, don't need any extra for the rest of the day, um, and you're normally good to go and that's it. Um, I'm probably doing all these back to front, I'm really sorry if I am. Um, but again, if I do that, and I, I normally have my last meal, so I'll have one at 12, have one at 3, and then I'll have 200 or 400 calories at 6. Um, and then I don't normally eat again until the next day at lunchtime. That's just me, it's a personal choice, you have to find your own routine. So in the evenings, um, I've always relied on these. Now I love these, Jordan's Skinny Syrups. Um, I'm running low as you can see, as we're still in lockdown up here in Aberdeen, and I can't get hold of any. Um, I used to have loads in, I've only got very few now because every evening I will allow myself a couple of these in um, milky coffee, so I'll, I'll use my milk allowance in the evenings. This, it just feels like I'm having a treat. It, it keeps me from falling off the wagon, it really helps. Um, that's my favourite one, <sighs> my favourite flavour. Um, again, recently I've just got hold of the skinny syrup version. I haven't tried too many of these yet. I've just started trying them. When I went to the shop the other day, I got so excited because obviously knew I was running low on the Jordan skinny syrup. Saw these and thought, hmm, and I, they don't disappoint. Um, really nice. As you can see, I've gone down a bit in it, so I'm gonna need another order soon. But again, it helps you in the evening. You've got your beanies coffees. Beanies coffees is always good to have, flavored coffee as well. And obviously the skinny syrups do do, can I find it? They're flavoured coffee as well, which is always good. So again, 
but I do like my syrups, especially I do. Um, is that all the drinks? I can't. Oh, also you get the water enhancers from Exante, fantastic. But if you run out, which I do quite frequently because I do obviously have all my water and I like it flavoured, I sometimes use these. Now, as long as you're not too bothered with the citric acid, which I never really have been. Um, I try and keep it low and I try and make sure that I'm not having too many, but in the great scheme of things, um, I've, I, I try and get on with life as much as I can without buying everything too major. They're really nice, they're no added sugar, uh, low calorie, and again, if you're not drinking gallons of it, then um, I've used it. Same as the citric acid in your Heartless jellies. I love Heartless jellies. Um, you've probably seen before that I like to make uh, jelly sweets out of them. So I use only half the water, put them in my ice cube mould, I put them in a, a, just a normal, like an old takeaway container. And then once it's set, I cut it up into little squares. Again, on my highlights, you'll see it. And you just pop them in your mouth. They're very, very nice. Um, and the calories are just hardly anything. And they, they can get you through a really tough day. I've relied on them an awful lot. If I've been hungry, I'll be in the fridge and I'll have a few. And it just stops me. It stops me making that real fatal mistake of having the naughty cheeseburger and chips or something that you really don't want to be having. So you have a few jelly sweets. It's better. It's better for you. And it, and it stops you kind of, you know, going too far off and falling off the wagon and burning it around the corner. It can help. And I do use it. So, um, sorry, my dog is making noise in the background now. Also, um, I do use, I've got a couple other bars that I buy from Home Bargains. Now, these are the skinny bars. You've probably seen me use them before. Um, they're like an added extra. They're only 99 calories, but you have to be mindful of the carbs in these because they're, they're, they're more carbs. So half the calories of like an Exante milk bar, but they're more carbs. So you do have to be careful um, how you incorporate them. If you're exercising and you've got extra calories to use, it's a good way to go. Um, I, I make cookies out of them sometimes. I use half a pack of Exante to make a cookie and half of one of them, again, it adds up to roughly the calories you're having and you've got a chewy cookie. So there's lots of things you can make out of them as well with combined, so you combine them all together. You've also got the, oops, sorry, the chocolate delights and butterscotch delights, which are already kind of mousse-like. So you don't need the um, baby gel that I use. Uh, you just make them as they are and they're nice. Uh, the chocolate delight um, is obviously the, it's like a butter, it's like a, Dream Delight, is it called Angel Delight? That's the same, so is that. Really, really nice, don't have to do much to them really. Um, gooey chocolate is the gooey chocolate cake in the microwave. Now I must admit, I'm, I do all my pack hacking and everything, I've never been any good at this in a, in a microwave. It just goes horribly wrong all the time. So I bake mine a lot easier, a lot nicer, and I still get the goo inside. But you can make these into cakes and cookies and everything as well. And I have made these into cakes and cookies. Again, in my highlights, you'll see. It's a bit of trial and error, but want to get a different texture, it does help. Um, so that's that. Um, I do obviously use Lodo an awful lot. I've, I've used Lodo since the very beginning of my journey um, for my 200 calorie meals, because it allows you to have that pizza if you want it. It allows you to have breaded chicken, it allows you to have, oh goodness, mug cakes, chocolate pizzas, um, quiches, scotch eggs, sausage rolls. I've made so many things with this. Again, it's a low-do section, you'll see it. Um, I love it. It's an amazing, ma amazing stuff. Um, I made cheese and bacon turnovers last night from that famous, kind of, you know, the ones you get in Greg's that oh, I love. Obviously not allowed them. I made four last night, had all four of them for my dinner because it was only 180 calories and I was allowed. Brilliant stuff, amazing stuff, and I have got discount codes as well in my bio for this. So if you do want to use any, feel free to use it. Um, but I love it; it is amazing stuff, and it's, it's so versatile. You can use it for so many different things, and I combine it with my Exante products sometimes as well. I mean, I'm I made a um, bit naughty at Christmas. I made a, I suppose it's like a Mars bar type thing, deep fried type Mars bar. I put it in. Um, one of those bases, wrapped it up, cooked it in the oven so it was crispy and had the gooey chocolate in the middle once it was in the oven. Really, really tasty. Um, so that's nice too. Obviously my Skinny Syrups, my Skinny Company, I do have all their chocolate spreads and their jams. You have to be mindful of that one. Ooh, sorry. Um, has a few more calories in, but then you've got the syrups that are zero calorie. They are amazing. I have the mayonnaise, the garlic mayonnaise, the curry sauce, peri-peri. Um, barbecue, I did a barbecue meal the other night that I put it on the barbecue, I marinated it in it and put it on the barbecue and it was absolutely amazing. Um, again, worth getting, worth having. 
I obviously have all my sweeteners in and everything and, and, and my uh, no, no sugar chocolate and cocoa and everything. I use that and it's fantastic. Um, but they're all the various things that I do use in that I can think of for now. Um, I'll do another one if you want um, with all my, I, I mean I've, I've got a basic essentials up in my highlights list that you'll see. Um, but you can hack everything. I mean, dal pot, I forgot that one, dal pot, burger, kebab, um, stir fry, so many things. The bean chili, you can do the same things, chili, chili bean burgers. If you look in my highlights, you will see an awful lot of hacks. And obviously these pack hacks you can do with other diets as well. I mean, whatever shakes or whatever ones you get through, you can pack hack anything that comes through. Um, as long as you keep in mind your calories and everything, it should all work. Um, I really, really hope that has helped in some way. Um, I have probably missed half of it. Um, if I have, I can get back to you um, and do it again. Uh, let me know if it's helped at all. And uh, don't forget, I've got my discount codes for the Exante things. Um, I want to keep pushing it in people's faces, but if, if you don't know, I have got one in my bio. I've got um, I've got discount links for um, Lodo, for Exante, Spice and Tice. Um, really nice for spices and company and that um, and a few other things in there if you want to see um, but I hope you're okay and I hope that's helped in some small way and um, I'll talk soon bye now